With Sam Northeast scoring a ton, Kent just inched ahead of opponents Glamorgan on the penultimate day of the LV County Championship match in Canterbury. One the home team really need to win to keep alive their hopes of earning promotion to the top division this season. Northeast began the day on 18 out of his side's 205 for four, which left them 125 runs behind the Welshman on first innings, and he was soon adding to that with this flashing edge. But he lost Darren Stevens at the other end in the morning's fifth over, the all rounder playing a similar shot to Northeast, but nicking behind to go for 30. Losing much of the evening session on the previous day to the weather hadn't helped Kent, of course. But Sam Billings, a man filled with confidence after an exceptional campaign in the one-day competition, and Northeast looked to make up for the loss of time with some punchy play. Northeast was put down in the gully off the unlucky Michael Hogan, who didn't always get the rewards his bowling deserved. The Kent man reached his half century with this shot, which brought him his seventh four to take him to his 50 off his 128th delivery, a second batting bonus point secured by now with more needed. The last couple of months have been extremely good to Billings. From a man trying to find his place in the first team at the start of this summer, he's become one who started to make the headlines for himself for some extraordinary innings. The game situation here allowed him to play his natural game as he reeled off yet more exquisite shots to have his team closing in on Glamorgan's first innings total. Northeast was an ideal partner for him, although he almost lost his wicket when this edge of Kieran Bull just evaded Jim Allenby at slip. That behind him, Northeast then easily helped this delivery from Dean Koska down the ground for a six as Kent raised the 300 in the 104th over, another batting point in the bank. At the other end, Billings spent quite a while in the 40s before he tucked Allenby away for the single he needed to bring up his 50 off his 86th delivery. He struck six fours in that, although he couldn't help his team to any more bonus points. In the next over, the 113th of the innings, Kent were into the lead with five wickets down and would have now been hoping to secure a large first innings advantage to put real pressure on the Glamorgan batsmen in their second dig. By the time that these two were parted, they'd added 151 runs for the sixth wicket to take them 40 runs ahead, a lead well beyond 100, the thing they would have been chasing at this point. But when Billings just failed to get enough on this shot to be caught in the deep by David Lloyd off ball to go for 77, the innings unraveled rather quickly. Before the collapse really got underway, Northeast reached his second hundred of the LV County Championship summer. One made off 197 balls with one six and nine fours included. His move down the batting order is paying dividends after spending a fair amount of his career as an opener. Next over and Bull was celebrating for a second time in minutes as Mitch Claydon gave the 19-year-old debutante his third wicket of the innings, LBW the decision. Northeast then cut Koska to Chris Cook to go for 102, the bowler cleverly holding the ball back a bit. Then, after a brief respite, Robbie Joseph was legged before to a fuller and quicker delivery from the experienced Koska. Before Bull finished off the innings by bowling Matt Hun for a duck to end with the impressive figures of 4 for 62, as Kent were all out for 387 after losing their last five wickets for just 18 runs in a dozen overs. That gave them a lead of 58 though and they moved ahead by removing both Glamorgan openers before that had been knocked off. Claydon bowled Will Bragg via the inside edge for 6. Before Stevens trapped Jacques Rudolph in front for 15 with the Welshman still 17 runs adrift. Gareth Rees had also lived dangerously at the start of his innings. An edge falling just short of the slips and a few close calls for LBW going his way including this one. But importantly, he still played some shots. Glamorgan could ill afford to try to block their way out of trouble. This sweep carried a distance. Cook wasn't able to repeat his first innings heroics. He played a rather flat-footed drive to Joseph and nicked off having added 30 to his 171 first time out. He departed with his team on 100 for 3, effectively 42 for 3, and more wickets in the last half hour would have put Kent just where they wanted to be going into the last day. 
but Rees held firm, making a pleasing half-century off 90 balls and playing many fine shots in a knock which was holding the home side up. 50 runs came off the last nine overs of the day, with Allenby striking two sixes before stumps were drawn. Whatever the match situation, Allenby is a man who likes to play his natural game, and he did that here with these two strokes, although he did block out most of the other deliveries he faced. He ended the day on 18 with Reese on 73, only a couple shy of his best effort of the summer. So Glamorgan will go again on the final morning on 150 for three, which gives them a lead of 92 runs. Kent will need some early successes in the first session to give them time to knock off the runs for a very significant victory.